We're in a new chapter, chapter 12. And this chapter is all about exploring multiplication and division. We're not going to get too serious about it, but we're going to introduce it because you're going to be doing this in third grade. All right? So this is Exploring Multiplication, Lesson 12.1. We can use a piece of paper with four sections. See how I made a line coming down and a line going across? And that'll help us make equal groups. If you look here, we have one, two, three, four groups, and there's two in each group. See that? And we can skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. There are eight gems in all in these four groups. And we can use pennies or rocks, cubes, sticks, or anything to make equal groups. Okay? So here we've got two groups. Here's a group and here's a group. One, two groups. And we have three gems in each group. So we have six gems in all. Sort of like three plus three, isn't it? Now look at this. Now we have one, two, three groups that have two gems in each group. And we have six gems in all. Do you see how that happened? Whether we had two groups with three in each group or three groups with two in each group, we still had six. Here we have four groups and there's one in each group, so there's four gems in all. One, two, three, four. Now we have one group, and it's got four in that group, and we have four gems in all. So whether we have four groups that have one in it, or one group that has four in it, we're still going to have four. Here we have two groups of four. Here's a group, and here's a group. That's two groups, and there's four. That makes eight gems. Four five, six, seven, eight. Here we have four groups of two. See how the numbers traded places? We had two groups of four and now we have four groups of two and we still have eight gems. Two, four, six, eight. See? If I circled these together and these together that would have been two groups. But I circled four groups of two gems. See? So either way we have eight gems. And we can draw to show equal groups and then write how many in all. So it says make three groups of three. So the first thing I'm going to do is make my groups. So I'm going to make big circles. One, two, three. So that would be three groups. And now I'm going to put three inside. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. See? And you can use pennies or anything if you want, but start by making your big circles of groups. You can make a square if you want to. Now that we have three groups of three, how many do we have in all? We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine in all. Three groups of three makes nine. Now it says make five groups of two. So let's make our big circle groups first. One, two, three, four, five groups. And it says of two. So we need to put two in each one. Now we have five groups of two. How many do we have in all? We can skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We have 10 in all. Now it says make four groups of two. So let's make our groups first. One, two, three, four. And it says of two. And we can use ones, tally marks, can't we? It's two, four, six, eight. Eight in all, okay? If this confuses you because it looks like an 11, just use dots, all right? But we could use tally marks if we want to. We could even draw little triangles in here if we wanted to. We can make groups of two triangles, couldn't we? Doesn't matter. 
You could even make a little circle that's not filled in for your group of two, and that would be a group, okay? As long as they all look the same and you have equal groups, okay? Now, here's something that you are going to learn in third grade. So, for those of you who can understand, just stick with me, okay? There's a thing called the commutative property of addition. And we learned a little bit about this earlier this year, and it says that we can add numbers in any order. The commutative property says if we do 4 plus 2, it's going to equal the same thing as 2 plus 4. It doesn't matter the order. They're both going to equal 6, okay? That's the commutative property of addition, okay? That's of addition because we're adding. Well, there's also a commutative property of multiplication, and it says we can multiply numbers in any order. And you're going to go over this in third grade math, okay? So it's saying that you can do 2 times 4 or 4 times 2, and it's still going to equal 8, okay? For those of you who want to see that video, it's grade 3 math video 3.6, and I'll have a link in this description, okay? But don't worry about it too much. I just wanted to introduce it to you so that you know this exists, okay? It's not so much that you have to memorize it, which would be nice if you did, but I just want you to know about this so that you can say, yeah, I think I heard of that before, all right? When you've heard of things before, it makes it easy to learn, okay? All right, we're going to continue exploring multiplication, and we're going to talk about how multiplication is repeated addition, okay? I hope I'll see you there. Hit the like button if this helped. Bye.